Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is a beautiful day to be starting a whole new series. We're still going to be doing plenty of workshop-oriented content. Do not worry about that, but some gaming videos, especially Minecraft, is something I've been wanting to branch out into on the channel for a while. So, welcome to the first episode of our Let's Play. As you can see, we've spawned on a mushroom island here, and off in the distance, if I can get it to load in, the render distance is fairly low. Right over here, we have a mesa and a desert village, so that is where we are going to head to start today. Alright, we are in town. Hello, villager. Now, one of the first things I want to do is get these villagers locked up before night hits so that we don't get a siege going on and end up with a bunch of dead villagers because I want to use these guys. Um, it's a specific reason I picked this seed was because it had a mushroom island, a mesa, and a village. Three things I really wanted to be close to. I will put the seed to this world down in the description if you are interested in playing on it for yourself. I haven't done much exploring in this seed with a creative mode. I might do that at some point just to kind of get a feel for what we have around us, but that does feel kind of cheaty to be doing that when this is supposed to be a survival series. So I'm going to try and avoid doing that. There's no one in there. Probably should check before I tore the door down. So let's go up here. Let's ring this bell. Get the villagers to go indoors. Now once these guys are all in, we should... We have more than enough to make a breeder if we ever need more. But I just want to get as many as I can so that we can put off building a breeder because it's not the most fun thing in the world. Alright, I just watched that last clip back and I noticed there is some fuzzy background audio. I should hopefully be able to work that out in post on this video. Uh, if not, I'll see what I can do by the next episode. We shall see. But, uh... Let me a comment down below, tell me just how bad the background noise is. Some people might not be able to hear it at all, some people might think it's like a constant ominous thing in their ear. I'm not sure, so leave me a comment, tell me what you think. And this is the thing I hate about the leather worker's house. The second floor is not railed off, so he's going to just wander off there here in a minute. Thank you sir, I will be taking that off your hands. So I was scouting out spots off camera, and I noticed down this way a little ways, there is a ruined portal. Oh no, 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 oh, that wasn't good. Anyway, there was a ruined portal down here, and I think I definitely want to do something with this. I don't want to tear it down or just ignore it or anything, because my last survival world that I was playing in was before 1.16, and then when I updated, I had already been playing on that world far too long, so... There were no ruined portals within any reasonable range. So yeah, I definitely want to make use of these, or this. And other than that, I haven't done much looking around. I know up that way a little ways, that direction, there is... I'm actually not sure what biome it is, but there's some wood. <laughs> I know that much, there's wood. Really sound like a professional here. So I was going around, and it just occurred to me, if we check the tools... I can't remember if he's it's the toolsmith's or the weaponsmith's house but if we check in this building here what are you weaponsmith whatever there should be yeah there's usually some good stuff in a toolsmith's place easy way to get early iron that also gave us some bread which we are in desperate need of i probably shouldn't be carrying this golden apple around on me but we're just gonna ignore that so now that we have an iron pick, I'm going to go collect some blocks. Okay, so you guys were just you guys were supposed to just get a time lapse of me going around collecting some materials. However, what little footage I did get was corrupted, so we're just going to jump straight back into the world and it is not safe in this area. And I didn't have a bed in the house I was going to sleep in. So, we're going to make a run for it. Alright, and we are in. Alright, that's better. Anyway, what I was going to say before it turned to night time was that as I'm running around here, I'm realizing that while it is 
sort of beneficial to not have any mobs, well, hardly any mobs, I should say, because there's less to worry about lighting up and everything. It is a downside because that means there are also no neutral and peaceful mobs, the exception of, of course, like villagers and iron golems and whatnot in the village, but point being, normally in a biome such as the plains biome, you have the benefit of being able to just get food anywhere, and around here, there's no food. I'm pretty well resorting to eating rotten flesh. I have one fish, one apple, and a golden apple left. I'm definitely uh, saving the golden apple for later, but yeah, this is this is what I'm resorting to. So, I'm going to wander out this way a ways. Let's see which direction are we headed. We are headed north. And I'm going to see, we should probably be on an island because of the mushroom biome that would make this an island. So I doubt I will find any other land. But, who knows. Let's see, let's turn our render distance up a few chunks and see if we can find some land out there.